All right, let's go. Also, if I die again, we'll probably just end stream, <laughs> depending. All right, so. Well, this is our fourth day of this, kind of. I mean, it was kind of nice to finish inside. Oh yeah, we unlocked her. Oh, actually, uh, asterisk. Can you in in stream announcements say at people to say that we've we finished medieval and you're playing more paranormal site? Too late. You did you do it, Len? Thank you. All right, so we only have one option right now. I'll see you again. So we learned that there's a a second record of fates and there's a secret other curse out there basically may contain a way to put a stop to the curse Yako and you know head to the high school to share that information okay so we got those boys to do voices for what are you being patient about nothing's happening buddy Ain't that interesting. The record of fates yin scroll, huh? So yeah, they just met with the professor. Mr. Research. There's a thing on the roof. I can't tell what it is, but it looks scary. Like a spooky lady. Well done, you two. That's some good info you got from the teacher. Did I hear research? Thank you. Good job, boss. Operation Schoolgirl was a success. Could you not call it that? Thank you. Ariel, stop making things sound weird. Anyways, let's share what we found at, at Michio Shiraishi's house. Oh, shit, yeah. Yas plies. So you see, everything's incredibly fucked. Yes. <laughs> a man named Uwai kidnapped sacrifices for black magic? And Michio helped with the kidnapping. I like that we get this. We don't get the full recap, but we get the little bits, which is what I need. And Mr. Junoichi used that to blackmail her. Ga. Oh, shit. Based on the report, I'm looking at the circumstances surrounding the deaths of Junoichi and Owai. If Michio Suraishi did it, it would make sense. Furthermore, there are... There are signs that Micho Shiraishi wanted someone to notice. Huh? Really? The ribbon that was left at the scene of Kohei's death is proof of that. Operation definitely not schoolgirl. <laughs> Daddy Owai? Uh, he, no. <laughs> not in this one. Mio, I'm guessing you knew that already. Ah, uh, yes. Ever since this morning. But there is one piece of information I need. Where the fuck is One Piece? But I think we are near her limit. Gah? Oh. About the record. So if we get this record of fate's yin scroll, we'll be able to dispel the curse? Yes. The source of this curse is a tragic event called the Honjo Incident that dates back to the Edo period. An onmyoji named Seaman is said to have recorded a way to deal with the curse. So I think there may be a way to dispel the curse. Right. I'll leave out approach this to you, Mio. What are you doing, bud? Bear. No. I'll check with the Par Paranormal Affairs Bureau as well. But please make the findings of the Record of Fates Yin Scroll your top priority. Understood. But how do we go about looking for it? Hell yeah, the white friends. I need to do some of that uh, everywhere in the next few weeks. But hell yeah, that's a that's a nice feeling. It's hard to get to to doing it, but it feel good. Feel it feel good when it's done. It is possible the descendants of Samen have inherited it, but I do not think they are aware of a, of its existence. It would be nice if we had a clan crest or something to go off of. Maybe we will have to ask paranormal affairs. Invalid. <laughs> Starting with, with like an important space is kind of nice. You being a secret boy back there? No, no sins? That reminds me. 
But yeah, was the rest of black magic used by a white edge, but really not just an intimidation? Huh? Why are you asking me? Oh, uh, boss said that you do about this sort of thing. Do, do you not? Um, well, I mean, I have some knowledge, but... How strange. I do not think I have ever told anyone that. Oh shit, different timeline? It's okay, Mia. No one's judging you. R right. But it still feels a little weird. So, what's your opinion on someone familiar with Western Black Magic? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If I could have a look at their grimoire, I could be sure, but... Based on their methods, I would say they intimid intimidated, imitated black magic popular around 300 years ago. It was advanced as magic... It was... It was advanced... Advertised. I'm dying. As magic anyone could use and was employed as camouflage to evade witch hunters. Thank you for entering. <laughs> what is mouth? It is notable because they purposefully required living sacrifices to make it difficult to dispose. Disprove. Fuck. It's authority. Wow. You know, like, so much. I'm impressed. It totally matches with the vibe you got going on. It's in her hair. She's got rats in her hair. Admitting you're a troublemaker, eh, Lynn? What, what do you mean by that? Don't worry, have some confidence. Um, right. Thank you, SNES. Thank, it was, <clears throat> thanks, I guess. Also, welcome in SNES. Are... Mm, I didn't kill any ducks. Those weren't real. Those are fake. If that black magic is just an... In imitation, then we probably don't have to worry about it. I'm just glad things aren't getting even more confusing than they already are. Mm, listen. About the mastermind. All right. About the mastermind. I had an idea. Huh? What is it? This is about the chairwoman of Haihaku Soaps. Is it not? You mentioned her when you were telling us about that Iwai person. Yep. Whether the goal is to restore youth or to resurrect someone, she's got her hands all over this. <laughs> she has money too It would also match Hideki Araishi's account of a woman's voice The evil business lady with supernatural powers The classic setting It's upsetting If only we could confirm those powers of hers Were actually real Mastermind We need to keep an eye on her I'll tell HQ to look into her Look right in her. Now then, if we're nearing the limit, I'll stop beating around the bush. Time to tell you straight. Yako Sakazaki. What? Me? Uh, yes? Take out your curse stone and give it to Mio. My curse stone? It's been in my pocket all this time. Thank you. I am just going to borrow it for a second. Well? Yes. There are soul dregs inside after all. Okay, cool. Ooh, what? How did this happen? I didn't do anything. I swear, you have to believe me. It is okay. We know. Yako, calm down and listen to what I'm about to tell you. But, but... There's no mistake that Junoichi and Awai were killed by that curse stone. But the one who committed the act is... 
the fucking ghost of Michio Tsuraishi that is inside you, Yaku. Sakazaki. What? What? Inside? Kairi's inside me? What? What do you mean? What do you mean? It is okay, Yako. Please calm down and listen. We fucking called it. You have been possessed, Yako. Let me slap you. By Michio's ghost. What? It probably happened when you were offering flowers at the site of the accident. Oh yeah, we, we talked about it a while ago because I was... They threw me off for a second, but I came back to it because they were talking about how it looked like they had fallen, but then or or were like attacked. Uh, by so we're like, okay, it could be the Tycho drum, and they said that she was back. But then when the the storyteller was like, "Do you know where she was?" and she was with she was at or at, at eight a.m. She was at Yako's house at eight a.m. or at the the candy shop, so her house. And it was like, okay, yeah, she's possessed. And then we got the ending where, where uh, she, where Yako is followed by, the Mister. No, that. Where is his voice? By Meat Rod, the Mister, the Footman. Uh, and then she turned around and was Michio. So that kind of was there. But yeah, the, the the way people died was like, yeah, that's her curse stone. So kind of, there's like bits and things. But they they threw me off for a second. And I was like, oh, wait, maybe maybe somehow someone brought her back and she has another curse stone. Because we don't know about the taiko drum, so, like, maybe that's, like, beating the shit out of people. <laughs> but then I was like, wait, no. Other things line up still. Filled with regret, her lingering ghost reacted to the presence of her old friend and entered you, Yako. No way? You mean Micho's ghost is inside me like Kairi Kingdom Hearts? I have explained this once before. But just because you have been possessed does not mean that you lose control of yourself. Normally, the mind will reject such attempts, and it and it would do nothing more than affect one's mood or energy levels. But Michio had powerful spirit sense to begin with, and because she was your friend, your mind was open to accepting Michio's spirit. So for those reasons, your minds merged without any issue. It is going to be difficult to separate her from you at this point, which also means it will be difficult to guide her spirit to the afterlife. No? Why? We've merged? Me and Micho's minds are... But I don't feel different at all. I mean, I'm me, I thunk. I'm me, she says. That is because after she merged with you, Michio started to believe she was you as well. As a ghost possessing you, she is not fully conscious, only really a jumble of vague memories. I'm me, he says. <laughs> a line from Riku to Riku. Thank you, Barty. <laughs> Still, there are traces of her consciousness and memories as Michio Tsuraishi. You have been acting a little different than than from usual. <laughs> you would also sometimes react when coming in contact with things with a powerful influence. Did I read any of those words right? R really? That having been said, if we do not have a proper understanding of the regrets Michio Shiraishi had when she died and why, it would be difficult to separate her from you. That is why I did not say anything. I am sorry. If I carelessly provoked her ghost, it could have risked causing her to dig even deeper into your mind. Oh no. <laughs> when we mentioned her mentioned limits earlier, we mean that by letting things proceed like this, there is a possibility that you will join completely. Oh shit, it is I the summon files. Making it impossible to separate her ghost from you. If that happened, you will never be able to tell which of your thoughts belongs to her and which belongs to you. Oh fuck. What? That's so scary. You mean I won't be myself anymore? Uh, but if it is Michio, then maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Oh, I don't know. What should I do? But. Ah, but.
Toot. It was actually Michio who used the curse stone while I was unaware, wasn't I? Doesn't that mean her ghost has already taken over my body? Well, about that. Ah, but I think that is probably the, probably the effect of the curse amplifying murderous impulse and the influence of the Feast of Shadows. While you were sleeping, the ghost powers were boosted and strengthened by the feast. Michio's consciousness surfaced and took control of your body. That's... That's fucked up. Then that means... I was the one who killed them. I cursed them both. Uh! Yako, no. You were being controlled. Right, Inspector? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's likely she'd be recognized as not being responsible for the crime to the possession. It's not something you can control. No need to worry about that. No, you're wrong. I wanted to kill them too. Those feelings must have come out. It's not only Michio's fault. Some of these voices are sure. We gave her a voice and then we killed her immediately in the beginning. And then she was a real character. I mean, when I learned that Michio didn't commit suicide, I wish that all the cruel adults around me would just die. I had the curse down with me and I wanted to get revenge for Michio if, <laughs> if the chance came. And how I, f that's how I felt. Yako. Because, because Michio wasn't able to escape her terrible situation. It was so hard. It wouldn't be unusual for someone to take their own life. And I, I had this cursed stone. I made Michio get revenge all by herself. Michio tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it was to keep on living in silence, and I treated those feelings like they were worthless. I should have done it myself right away. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Michio. Uh. Uh. <laughs> That's why. I killed them. Uh, called Dom. Fuck, we didn't give her a voice. <sighs> Thank you for Boldy. What voice did we give her? I need some of these. Use my pain. Pop in here. Oh, that's gonna be rough. I forgot I didn't give anyone Vice's voice. So, uh, Mayu, her voice shifted all over the place. I might do that. I don't know if I can do. Pop in here's voice is almost the snake voice. You and I are friends now. Uh, What's, what if we just like made her, actually this is her voice, Yako. <laughs> there you are. Oh, hi, Micho. What is up with you? You've had me worried, Sack, since you haven't been coming to school lately. It feels like it's been forever. I'm glad you seem to be doing good. Yeah, sorry. I already, I already, it was like here, there we go. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you why. I've always regretted it. Aw, oh, come on, you're acting like we aren't buds. You tell me if anyone is making you sad, and I'll take care of them. Care of them. <laughs> Thanks, Yako. Actually, I'm, I'm here because of, wait, no, we got it. You know, we haven't, no, it's changing. I know the one we gotta do. Because there's something I wanted to tell you. 
Really? That's the, what's the matter? You can tell me anything. Well, the truth is, I did something unforgivable to an innocent man. Praying I was forced to, and didn't have a choice, doesn't undo it. I'm sorry, but I feel so guilty. What? I've done so much I can't take back, all because I was weak. The world was escaping the hell I've created for myself. I couldn't handle it anymore. I started thinking about killing him and dying myself. Neither of us prefer to live in this world. What? But something went wrong, and that's why I died with regrets. But thanks to you, I finished what I wanted to do. Well, that's a, that's one. Thank you. And I'm sorry for driving you into this. Wait. Wait, you don't need to apologize. It's only now that I realize. But now, how selfish I am. But I hope you remember the time we spent together as friends. But how we were able to be together in the end. Please, don't forget me. Huh? No, meet your way. Slap. Slap. Huh? <laughs> huh? You are awake. Do you feel okay? I am sorry. I had to spring that all on you, Yako. What? <laughs> Is this? Are we in the classroom? Huh? Was I... Dreaming? I'm sorry to rush things along. I mean this, even. While you're still gathering your feelings, but... I don't care about your feelings. We need to hear what Michio Tsuraishi has to say now. Right. And so, after considering what to do, it is true that Michio's consciousness has mixed with yours. But if I summoned her ghost, we may be able to establish some communication and bust her. Oh, I understand. I know busting feels good. So you thought to use the spirit board again? Yep. I have a hunch. I think the spirit we called last time may have actually been Michio herself. Really? You think? Oh, who is this? No. And that her spirit has been close to you ever since then. Then let's do it. I think we should, and I want to hear from her. Very well. I have no idea if this will work during daytime, but let us give it a try. Are you ready? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Do you remember how to do it? Place your finger on the 10 yen coin. Fingy. Right, like that. Good, now do as I do. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, please visit us. Please tell us if you are there. It's hair. Now, is the spirit, is this, is it the spirit of Michio? Nyako, would you ask the spirit? All right. Are you Michio? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Board, are you the spirit of Macho Sarasha? Oh, shit. Ah, it said Yas. Do not be so sure. Some spirits like to play tricks. Can you try asking it a question only Michio would know the answer to? A question only Macho? <laughs> it's getting worse. Would know the answer to? Let's say then. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Bird. How much did the ribbon I bought with Michio cost? Four. Nine. Zero. 
490 yen, that's right. Well, it seems we have the right spirit. Or someone else who liked ribbons. Okay, can I have you ask her a question? Okay. What do you want me to ask her? I want you to ask about the location of Fumuchika Nejima's hideout and the location of the talisman as well. Okay. Where the fuck is Nejima? Spectre of the Spirit Board, please tell me the location of Fumuchika Nejima's hideout. Plays. Terrible things will happen if he isn't captured soon. I'm sure it's painful to try and remember, but you're the only one who can help us, Mecha. Please. Please. Do it. Oh, shit. F. It moved. This is an address. She's given us the address. Amazing. Thank you, Micho. Okay, I have the address. Thank you. All right, Ariel. Get a move on and check out that address. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll contact HQ and order a simultaneous house search and sweep of the area. I just hope the information is accurate. I know it is. Where the fuck is the talisman? Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Bird. Do you know where the talisman is that you had is? <gasps> yes. She does know. I wonder if we can find a way to narrow it down. I'll try asking. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Bird. Did you carry around the talisman with you at all times? Uh-huh. Yes. So she did carry it with her. Then, did you have it with you when you had your Oxidon? Mm hmm Huh? She had it with her. But there was nothing resembling a talisman in the articles left behind at the scene. So that means someone took it off, took it with them and ran off with it <laughs> before the scene was investigated. But who would do that? This would mean someone knew Michio had died before the police did. First person to discover and report it was the caretaker of an apartment building next door. Should we check with them? Let us see. The other possibility I can think of is Meatwad, the perpetrator of the hit and run. But it was a hit and run. Wouldn't they have run away? It might be possible they came back, driven by fear or something else. Even so, they didn't report it and went through her belongings. But the only, but the only take the talisman? Seems hard to believe. Unless they were after the talisman from the very beginning. How likely is that? If the talisman really is so special. I wonder, so, okay. So from what it sounds like, it was the sweater man who hit her, but there was, did they say there was an older woman or just a woman in the car? I wonder if it's Hayaku Soap Lady, but part of me is like, I wonder if it's the very sussy lady, but I don't know if they were together then. Oh, my bones feel weird. I don't know if I read this. How likely is that if the talisman is the ta if the talisman is really so special? Uriel mentioned the same thing, but to run someone over just to take something from them. It's possible they just picked up the talisman after hitting her for no particular reason. Either way, if it really was a hat and run, then I hope they get caught. It is it's possible she remembers something after seeing the picture of the car. Then, shall we try asking? I'll try. Yeah, my bones. My upper bones. I just feel sore for probably sleeping bad. I don't know. Oh, Spectre of the Sparrow Bird. Do you know who's behind the hat and run? You do. We saw that in an ending. She says she knows. That is a relief. If she hadn't had not known... Huh? 
In order for Michio's spirit to find peace, we need as much detailed information about what happened as possible. We cannot send her off to the afterlife if we do not know what happened when she died. This is not like a forced exorcism. Huh? So that's what it'll take? Alright, I'll try asking. Right. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Bird. Who is the one who ran you over? I hope she knows the name. I wonder. Namagaki. And ah, uh, mm, ah, uh, ka ah, uh, ka ah. Uh. <laughs> huh? Namagake? What? You mean Utaro Namagaki? You two know him? We talked with him after we left the cafe. He used to be a curse bearer, right? Sometimes you just gotta read things accurately. Ah, uh, I see. So that is why Yako had the reaction when she saw him. Yeah, when she blamed him? Yeah. Ooh, what? Come to think of it, the guy said he wanted me to talk to, he wanted to, talk to Mecho. What the fuck is he planning without his curse stone? He said he would be waiting near Ryugoku Bridge. Got it. I'll join you there once we're done here. He's the bastard who killed Mecha? Yako. This should be enough information. We can release Michio from her suffering now. Let us do it. Alright. My water. Say goodbye. Oh, Spectre of the Spirit Bird. No, Machio. Thank you. You helped us. You, you know? I am so sorry I didn't know about it all. Your family that kidnapped him, Mr. Junoichi. I'm so sorry. It must have been so hard. Not that I could understand, but I'm sure it was so hard. Go. I mean, of course you would want revenge. I wanted it too. We've all done things that we wish we could take back. But I'm glad that I at least know the truth. Yako. There's so much I want to say, but that's enough. Let me just ask you one last thing. Someday, can we hang out again? feels last second even with this voice no <laughs> yes you mean it okay it's a promise if you change your mind I'm gonna bless you go have you asked everything you wanted go yeah go yeah okay I am going to guide Michio's spirit away now. Yeah, it's time to say goodbye. Michio, with this, I'll finally be able to free you. Hey, Yako. Yeah? <laughs> you never accepted the idea that Michio took her own life. I am glad you never stopped trying to find the truth. Yeah. You're right. Even though I don't realize how hard things were for her. I fucking knew. Mio. Sorry. This is all ruined with my voice. It is just Michio. She was taken advantage of by so many of the adults around her. She put up so with so much. 
I should have tried to talk to her more. I know how you feel. Thanks, meow. 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 It hurts thinking about all the things I could have done. Why did this have to happen to someone so kind and hardworking? It feels like she was ill fated at the very end. Is this too cruel? But even then, she didn't even tell me about this stuff. And she let herself worry more about revenge than loving. I'm mad at her for that. Sure, I should know something was wrong, but come on. Uh, what was she thinking? Seriously? I mean, like, seriously? I'm really that unreliable? I said that wrong. Of course I help you get your revenge, you fucking idiot. I don't care how you, how you had changed or whatever. I just wanted you to love. Yako. I'll take responsibility for what's been done. But one day, if we meet on the other side, I'm gonna have to give her a good punch. <laughs> Slap. Then I'll tell her for she's the real fool's procession <laughs> or something. Then we'll hang out like, like, out like and always. <laughs> <laughs> the actual like in there threw me off. Hee <laughs> hee. Sounds like fun. All right, let's fucking do this. Let's fucking go. Okay. Oh, wait. Go. Look, the coin moved to no all on its own. You're right. You are right. When did it do that? It seems she still has something keeping her here. Yako, do you have any idea about what Michio wants? Ma? Oh. What was the... F oh. Please, don't forget me. <laughs> I think she told me that she didn't want me to forget. I see, then... Oh, sorry. I see, then. Michio, if you can hear my voice, let your feelings that you won't... Wait. Let your feelings that you won't ever forget her be known. Show it through an action. What? Do something that shows you won't forget. What? Huh? What? How do you not forget something? I'm trying to write it down. Save. Is that the answer? Oh shit! They mentioned that earlier, I just remembered. I was like, what? I can't do anything. Thank you. Oh, I don't really want you to punch me. <laughs> so live a long life, okay? I'll see you later. Hmm. Slap! Oh, shitty. In the city. Let's go beat the shit out of Namagaki. Yako, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, I feel a lot better. I guess I wasn't feeling myself recently. <laughs> it was like there was a part of me that I had no control over or something. That's like literally what we've been telling you. Yeah, I think you are back in your norm to your normal self now. I am glad there were not any problems. I wonder if Micho is able to find Paios. I know she did. You do not have to worry about that. The old man and the dumb kid. 
Do you mean the, the police officers? It seems that her regret was not being able to tell you what was going on and growing apart from you. Yeah, there... <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of like... I kind of like everyone. Oh, wow. I guess I can forgive her for that. I mean, I kind of took out some of the emotion with the voices we gave them, but... Bah, there's still something bothering me. Really? Yeah, I wonder what this feeling is. It's like there's a piece of her that hasn't left yet. Hmm. It may be an after effect. An Adobe after effect. <laughs> an Adobe after effect. Mind my normal stuff? Hello. Maiden raid. Hello. Uh, we just had something powerfully emotional happen with that voice. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to say before we, before right now, if anyone's avoiding spoilers for this game, we are like pretty end game. So if you want to avoid stuff, I'm going to give you some warnings here, but. Frosty Kawashika, thank you for the rain. Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome in Raiders. <laughs> I messed up because it's been a long day even though the stream says I've been live for three hours it's been like nine we had a we had a OBS crash earlier in the middle of medieval which isn't too bad welcome in thank you guys thank you for the raid welcome in everyone I'm Game Croy I'm not we're just the pumpkin's not going on the rest of today he's back there in the background I've my bones hurt <laughs> and it's hot it today this corner is warm today so i'm i've been avoiding it a little bit um but yeah normally i'd have him on after the raid but today i need <laughs> i need to hide not in him uh but yeah welcome in i'm game where we play a lot of things usually a lot of jrpgs and whatnot but it is spooptober that's the wrong thing where is it spooptober We've got a lot going on this month. Uh, this is our seventh year of it. Every Spooptober, we, I, it's, I plan an entire month of video games, and here we are. Uh, we just finished Inside last night, and we finished Medieval Resurrection about an hour ago. And since we had some time, uh, we're playing some more Paranormal Sight because we are behind on that. So hopefully we'll be able to finish this. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun things going forward. Uh, but yeah, the entire month becomes spoopy. All of our alerts for literally everything are loud and spoopy for me. And, uh, yeah, we got our vibes going. And that's it for that. I just noticed they're supposed to be walking, but the background's moving with them. And I hate that I... Noticed that. Well, that one's not an alert. I mean, like, follows and subs and gifted subs and more gifted subs and bits and bear care funds and raids. We got a, ra a spoopy raid. I'm so spooped. But Frosty, come and shoot. Uh, I can't read. Frosty, thank you for the raid. Welcome in. Damp Raiden Maid. Damp, Damp Raiden Maid? <laughs> Raiden. What the fuck's wrong with my brain? Damp Maiden Raid. Welcome in. Hello. G Meister, hello, welcome in. How's it going, everyone? Yeah, so we, we went live twice because we had an issue, but yeah. Yeah, I have a little bit of a headache. I'm doing okay, though. Um, mostly we're going late just because we, well, we want to. We'll be fine. Um, I got it eventually, I think. Shut up, game spoilers. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, Frosty, thank you so much for the raid. If you guys don't, please go follow me. Frosty. I can't say! Frosty Kamashika, what is up with my mouth? 
the problem is we've had a long a long medieval but now we're in a part where I'm I'm actually voice acting and so my voice is getting worse for reading anyway frosty thank you uh if anyone's avoiding spoilers for this game we are in prime spoilers territory i'll give anyone a moment to to run away if you need to and then we'll get right back into this um yeah again thank you so much uh hell yeah all right well we're, we'll get into it or sapping your brain like a maple tree kind of kind of also I don't know, Medieval did a little bit too, in a good way, I guess. Um, oh yeah, of course, thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. But yeah, so you were playing some, uh... Wait, Maiden of Blackwater. So, Sun was playing a Fatal Frame last night, which I think was a different title. Which one is this one? Is it Fatal Frame O'Clock? This is five. Okay, I think Sun was playing four. Am I right? How many are there? But yeah, I've, I've never played a Fatal Frame. I know I have access to one or a couple. I think there's one on PSN. I don't think the old ones anymore, but hell yeah, I hope that was a fun stream. And if not fun, then uh, traumatizing in the good way. <laughs> I hope it was good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get back into this. I'm gonna be doing some voices. They're, they're bad in a good way. Crimson Butterfly, Three is Tormented, Mask, uh, Mask of Lunar Eclipse, and Made... Okay, so Five... Is Five the last one that exists currently? Yeah, because I didn't... I didn't know there were that many. I'm curious how recent the last one is, too, because, like... I remember seeing something recently, but I thought it was because it got ported or, like, added somewhere recently. Um, maybe because you gave your stone to Chief in Inspector Tsutsumi? Doubt it. Having the curse stone shouldn't have any effect on your body. Oh, five is from Wii U times. Cause I'm his fair, fair. Oh, there's a remake of it. Okay, that's maybe what I was seeing about recently then. I didn't know they remade it. But dealing with four curses sounds like a lot of stress. Good work, Chief. Oh yeah, he's got four out of nine, potentially ten. Someone, what, what? Someone's like a completely different person all of a sudden. But are you really sure about this? Having us arrest you once it's all over? You might be able to get your case treated as just an accident. Ooh, I love that actually. That's actually, that seems like a really good use of the Wii U actually. So like, when you're using it, like, does the game itself say, does the game itself say stay normal, but like you can look around as, as the camera? Only digital. Too big. Oh, interesting. Too big for Wii U. Interesting. But. How does it, how do you play it? <laughs> oh, okay. That still seems like a fun way to do it though. Oh, that's right. I forgot you could do that. <laughs> that's interesting. No disc, but also good luck. It's fine. Treat me the same as anyone who used a curse stone to kill someone. If anything, I should be thanking you for letting me go fray until it's all over. So thanks, Chav. His little smile. Yeah. Fair. I've I've heard I've heard it's a fandom that's that can be rough. <laughs> Not like the people, but like being able to like support it, I guess. Oh oh fuck. Wow wow! You didn't sound like about bringing the police. Sorry, we don't have time to care about what you have to say about us. What? What business do you have with this girl and what you've lost? Or now that you've lost your curse stone. I'll tell you this for free. I have her curse stone already. Yeah. Yeah. Surroundings. Who am I playing as? 
Am I Yako right now? Yako? I'm just gonna read this as my voice then. There's a lot of traffic around here and it's very noisy during the day. The amount of exhaust coming from cars is overwhelming. I hear it's not healthy. Dun. Legally play one, two, three, now it's funny. Yeah, that's, I, there's, I feel like there's a few fandoms that like, getting your hands on like, the beginning games is just rough. Like, that's another reason like, I feel like less things are getting ported and like, I guess at least certain things are being remade. So I don't know. No, I think the PS3 store should still exist. You just have to like, like the, it's awkward right now, I think. You can't buy directly there. You have to like add funds via this, the, like the, the other site to your wallet, but then your wallet still exists directly from a PS3 or Vita, I think. It's been a while, but I, th I think. Yeah, there's like, it, it should still work as far as I know. Cause there, there's a lot of stuff I feel like shouldn't be lost to that. Cause there's, there's a lot of like PS one through three games that you can kind of only get that way without getting it like really expensive. Like, well, I mean, now they have the like PS five legend of Dragoon, but like that was like five bucks. And then like, it was an expensive like disc for people to find. I think that's happened with a few of them. Viz, welcome in. Yeah, we beat Medieval Resurrection. It was mostly pretty fun, and now we're playing more of this for a little bit. Soft mod your Wii, huh? No. Ask me how I know. Do you have experience? A new raid in, in 14? Hell yeah. Dun. I forgot my mom was there. I said a swear. <laughs> Did you get in trouble? More spoops. Yeah, we, we're doing the spoops. As long as we can. I do need to eat food eventually. <gasps> Bird. I got a trophy about it. Or an achievement. What's his name? Crane stem. Okay. Like brain? I thought I saw something else over here. Just talk. Okay, so I am Yako. We should let him take care of this. Think. It's the bastard who ran over Michio and drove away. That's true, then why does he... My prize... I love that. I love that. That was like my uh, my copies of Final Mix 1 and 2 for Kingdom Hearts. I didn't know anyone who had them for a long time, and then they became part of like what exists here, just in English. But I know we, more people are getting them. Like, <gasps> they're not as special, but I still have like original releases of them, which is neat. She makes some weird jokes sometimes, but still, he's reassuring to have a veteran placement with us. Leave this to me, okay? Water. It's wet. Hell yeah. The last time you did this, uh, not too long ago, actually. I think right before raid. Same. Um, I should pull them all out again, but like for one and two, I have the like black label original, uh, Japanese Japanese final mix and English release of KH one and two three versions of each up there and then I now have three versions of final or of, uh, birth by sleep too I have the original Japanese release uh, the original US release and the original final mix release in Japan and then we got kind of at least one copy of everything else I don't have my box for original chain of memories anymore I have the cart though um, but yeah then all the I have a bit of them <laughs> a bit of them but yeah I've had I've had the uh, I've had final mix for one and two since like around the time they were released back in the day but i recently a couple years ago got the the original japanese releases which i do want to stream at some point uh there's no version for my wait for of what now of kingdom hearts hell yeah People are like, do you think they'll do a PS5 version? I'm like, I don't, 
I don't know what they would do with that. Tara's <laughs> visibly shaken. That must mean there's some reason he doesn't want the cops around. Ooh. Peter's getting warm. Hell yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, that's a good call. Yeah, well, yeah, that's like that. I got that too, and then yeah, then I got the the PS the the English release, the separate release of Recom. So I think I still own Recom the most amount of times. Well, my, no, not anymore. Well, I guess it's the same as one two, one two and Recom. I probably or just regular, just just any chain of memories. I think I have around the same. Any morsel? I know, right? They've been rude about it. I don't have any ill intentions. I wanted to tell you that I want to help if you intend to resurrect Michio Sarashi. That was my intention from the beginning when I received a curse stone. And that's why you, I took your curse stone. Man can't... Wait. Man can't be too careful. There we go. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. I just, those are the ones I'm just like, yeah, I just have what I have. But like the only ones I cared about getting more were one, two and Breath by Sleep finally. I was like, yeah, yeah. Besides, what connection do you have with Michio Tsuraishi? Well, um, I fucking killed her. I mean, we met once. I was so sad to hear the news of her death the other day. Oh, he said this recently. Uh-huh. Met once. I see. Well, I'm sure it must have been painful for you. Jump scare hallway dogs. It's painful for you, but... Yeah, I think our neighbor got... Well, the neighbor moved and has a dog, so... Oh, they went down the hallway. There's just a dog yelling in the hallway. Um, kitty litter in at first. I feel like I've heard of that actually. Interesting. Do you think bringing back the dead will erase the fact that you hit her with your car? Borkoween. What? I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm sure you do. If you don't know, I'll tell you. And you'll... Bleh. You'll let me ask you some questions in return. <laughs> Love that emote. <coughs> Did you just get your license recently? Hmm. We found a van with blood stains on it. You see, it's only a matter of time before we find who the owner is. What's that supposed to mean? Why don't you tell me a little bit more about your relationship with Michio Saraishi? Yeah, Martian. Not only that, you killed someone for, with your curse stone, didn't you? Stop! Stay away from me! You're going down. Damn it! Okay, okay, I give up! It's all over for me. Afterwards, Yutaro Nomagaki gave his confession. He admitted that he was behind the wheel of the van that hit Michio Saraishi. But who also was in the van, though? He explained that he was speeding in order to impress a girl he had in the car with him. After hitting the schoolgirl, he drove away and planned to wash the car in secret to destroy the Avadans. But he became nervous and went back to the scene of the crime with the, at the urging of his passenger. Da, da. Cursed. Wait. Oh, <laughs> the paint with, with cat litter in it. Forbidden cottage cheese. <laughs> Very crunchy. For real? When, I'm sorry, when they, wait, where's my, oh, when they returned to the scene, the female passenger went to check on the victim alone while I was sat in the panic in the car. Okay, so it's definitely, it's hat girl. <laughs> when she returned, she told him people were unlikely to assume a hit and run, so it looks similar to suicide but jumping from a height. You. 
Afterwards, the pair parted ways and Yutara dumped the vehicle deep in the woods under the cover of night. Two of them decided to keep the accident a secret. Next morning, Misha Sureshi's body was discovered and luckily for them, her death was ruled a suicide. True. And we know that they're like kind of a thing, but not really. And also that she she's used to tricking people and using them. And I feel like she has some connection with some things. I feel like she maybe went back to get the talisman. Panicking is so relatable. True though. However, a darkness lingered within his heart. From that day on, the schoolgirl appeared before him covered in blood, her limbs bent and broken and despite him in his dreams every night. Even when awake, he would see a phantom of her corpse in the dark, moaning and cursing him all at all times. Troubled by the constant hallucinations, it was only a number of days before he suffered a nervous breakdown. He couldn't bear hiding what he'd done anymore and planned to turn himself in, but was was stopped by the passenger from that nah. <laughs> it was then that he heard the rumors of the right of resurrection. He thought I had to do he, he thought if he could resurrect the schoolgirl, that it would be like if the accident never happened. <laughs> She's not special. And with that, the darkness enshrouding his heart could be dissipated. Dissipated. From then on, he searched the areas associated with seven mysteries of Hanjo every night. And he received the curse of the foot washing machine as a result. I will keep calling it that. Look at, he's just staring at those thighs. I see. That's right. I'm not a bad man. I wanted to turn myself in. Or was that girl who tempted me? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Calm the fuck down and listen, son. I'm not your son. If you don't think you've got anything wrong, if you've done anything wrong, what would these girls think if they saw you run over that poor girl? <coughs> There's something I want to know. Do you know anything about the talisman that Michio should have had on her at the time of the accident? Talisman? What the fuck are you talking about? Hmm, so you don't know anything. In that case, what about the woman who was with you? Can I, can we, can you ask her? Oh, that's right. Everything is her fault in the first place. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, that may not be exactly wrong. Just riding passenger in a car and, in a car involved in an involuntary vehicular manslaughter isn't a crime in and of itself. But according to your statement, she neglected her duty to seek aid and instigated you to neglect your duty to report the accident. And if you took an article from the scene, or she, I mean, she'd also be charged with theft. Can you tell me who she is? Got a yawn. You have no intent of hiding anything anymore, do you? Yeah, that's right. It's her fault. Do what you want with her. It's time for her to face what she's done. Her name is Ayami Tono. She's an art student I met in town. Yeah, it's her. He's the way he's just like, yep, it's her fault. What the fucking shit? An art student named Ayami Tono? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you absolutely sure of that? What point would they be in line to you now? Do you know her or something? She may look nice, but she's rotten on the inside. I like to meet the parents who raised someone like that. She is incredibly sussy, but so is he. Shut up. <laughs> Guy? What is wrong, Inspector Sutsumi? You are drenched in sweat. Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Damn it, why? How could this happen? Listen up. I'm taking this this one with me down to the station for more questioning. You two go after the record of fates at Yin Scroll. Got that? Uh, okay. We will. Come with me. <laughs> wow. Wow. Just turn into Yoshi there. Is that a heartbeat? Um. 
let's get going. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay, so we went for another hour. Do we do one more? Manhunt. Let's do this. All right, what are you laughing about? So we need we need to know you said you'll be clear when we go back here and then I don't we need a combo somewhere for that I think da, da, da. I feel like we should probably do one more Mhm mm Yeah, I don't think I have anything to do that yet Um, so we just did that one. Should we go back to Aereo? This looks like, so he's, he's going to, is he going to Nejima's hideout right now? And they're going to find the scroll. What? Think, think what? Oh, I think so. Think OS. I was wondering that too. All right, which one should we do? In case we only have time for one more. Do you guys want to see Manhunt or let's do this? We're making some progress way over here. I pick? I'm tempted to do this because it's up top. Manhunt sounds like it's gonna be, well, looks like it's gonna be more intense. They're doing some shit too, though. So I guess since we just did, let's do this because we were just with them. Having regained control of herself, Echo rejoins Mio on a search for the record of Fate's Yin Scroll so that they they stop the curse. However, they find themselves with scarcely any leads to follow. Let's do this? Let's fucking go? Yeah, maybe we'll do one more and then call it good. And then we'll figure out how long I've left after that. I know we're supposed to be finding the record of fates. Scroll, yin scroll, sh something. But it would sure be nice if we have Marva lead to work with. Right now, our only option is to try and trace the bloodline of that Onmyoji semen to today but he is not a legitimate descendant of his family he's not a le oh so the library doesn't have anything about it this might be a dead end okay good oh unless it's just like well bye and since we have nothing so far we find ourselves her unless it's just like well that's it soap so this is Haihaku's soap headquarters so we're thinking that one of the high-ranking people here is most likely the master man. Chairwoman Yamamori, was it? Wait, the chairwoman high-ranking? Our chairwoman high-ranking? Isn't that the most important person at the company, the president? Hmm, I am not sure, but she is definitely an important person. Even if we're able to meet with her, what do we talk with her about? We can't just waltz in there and ask her if she knows what the fuck the Yen Scrawl is out of nowhere. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as they say. Oh, is that your working style, Mel? Er, well, whenever I find myself out of options, I usually jump right into the thick of it. Oh, if you are scared, I do not mind going in by myself. Scared as F. As if. Think of me as your trusty bodyguard. I don't mind going in a bed and taking a chance. <laughs> going big and taking a chance. Oh, yeah. There is the Yako I know. <laughs> Thank you. Soap. Now, shall we? Wait. 
So, sorry, just hold on. No problem, we can take our time. I'm looking for birds or something. <laughs> oh, meow. What about that one guy? I want inspector to so many check with. I forgot his name. Oh, right. Apparently, he never heard from Namaga. Wait, Nakagoshi. What? I forgot about that. Not that we have a way of contacting him directly, anyway. We would just have to leave a message with the Paranormal Affairs Bureau's messenger, messenger and hope it reaches him. He is always the one who contacts me. And even then, it is only instructions. Hmm, well, I guess we're in a tight spot, then. Damn, we're in a tight spot. Get anywhere just waiting around. Let's do, let us do the best we can working on our own. Meow. Has Meow been doing stuff like this all over by herself until now? So dangerous, and there's so many unknowns. Must be so tougher. No wonder it'd be hard to make friends. Hmm? Something the matter? Nope, I'm just staring at you. Let's fucking go. I am sure we will be fine. I mean, we have managed to get this far. Hey, Meow? You know? Yeah? You might not look it, but you've got a bold side. A little reckless, even. Huh? You think? I suppose things not going to plan is just a part of life in this world. No, I mean, like, I think it's a good thing. I'm the same way. I feel like we get along well together. Maybe that's one reason why. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. Sorry, that was another he here. Huh. There were a bunch of police cars speeding by here earlier. I wonder if something happened. Uh oh. He here. Must be. I've seen a few police officers, and they look like they were on edge. Could Inspector Susumi have let that Nejima escape, and everyone's scrambling to find him? I hear him speeding outside. No worries, Frosty. Thank you for the raid again. Have a good rest of your night. I hope you enjoy more of your Spooptober, and I'll see you around. Yeah. Good luck out there. Have a good sleep. I would. He's in a secret place tonight. He's down there in, like, the, the like, literal square made by my desks and the fake wall. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. Uh, oh, after all the effort we put into gathering information, that would be unfortunate. Has he got any birds? No birds as a treat for me? Thank. Now then, can we really just barge in there and expect it to go well? Probably not. Let's fucking go. Now shall we? Let's fucking go. Alright, let's give it a shot. It'd be kind of funny if it just ended. Um, excuse us. We are children. Looks like we're out of luck. Who knew you needed an, an appointment? An appointment. An, 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 an appointment. Months in advance to meet the chairwoman. Turned out she's super duper important. Even the receptionist gave us a cold shoulder after realizing we're just students. Maybe her private secretary would hear us out, but they seem to be out at the moment. Don't be suspicious. Hmm. In that case... Hayaku was no good. I do not know if we have any other options. Yeah, I guess we're just done here. Suspend. Well... I guess it's time to hunt a man. And then we'll probably end after this, because that one, I didn't count that one. <laughs> Having learned the location of Nejima's hideout from Michio Sutsumi, an area of request backup from HQ for Nejima's arrest, and their manhunt picks up speed. How much is probably left after this, though? Oh, shit. From HQ to all bureaus. Officers have discovered the resi the residents of paroled offender Fumujika Nejima, currently wanted under suspicion of criminal threat. 
suspect escaped his residence prior to officers arrival and is now at large in Sumida City. Suspect is thought to be fleeing on foot. All viewers are instructed to pursue, ensuring that he does not take refuge indoors. Okay, so we got a bit. <laughs> Hot eye mom story. Furthermore, suspect is believed to be possessing a weapon, cap weapon capable of causing large-scale casualties. Okay, cool. Well, not cool, but also cool. All officers are instructed to exercise extreme caution in their pursuit, remaining vigilant for signs of explosive, explosives and poison gas. We'll have to figure out what makes sense to try to finish this. Slap! Slap! Daddy now! Slap! Slap! Toss! Slap! Slap! Toss! Daddy now! Sorry, boss. I tracked down Eddie with safe house, but he legged it just before we got there. Not your fault. Should have known he'd be on the lookout for us. We've got officers all over town. It's only a matter of time before we bag him. Slap! The rest of the town's crawling with police, but there's practically no one here. We've been running ourselves ragged all day. It's nice to finally stop and catch our breath. Oh. I hate when there's like something else to, like it's not checked off, but I can't. Oh, progressive. I will. Oh shit, look at him. I will. No it owl. Hell yeah. There he is. There he is. Remember when we got like five <laughs> from fr Richter playing the lotto? Oh, I changed my shirt, boss. No need for a B.O. check. The hell? Why are we trying to sniff your pit stink? What? Is that not what you're doing? Don't know where you got that idea. But you can put it right back where it came from. That's up my butt, boss. I'll get you in the mood for a good whiff someday, boss. I'll stake my career on it. Okay. <laughs> what did I miss? Hell no. Not even your career. Hmm. You sure are eyeing me up, boss. Don't tell me you've got a thing for me. He is into us in that way, I think. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Yeah, we finished Medieval and we got back to this for a little bit. That's true. No, no, nothing like that. Sorry, I shouldn't stare. Well, boss, what are you doing here anyway? I mean, we. I figured Nejima might show up. Call it a hunch. But he used this place as a hideout 20 years ago. Fair enough. I'm sorry, fair enough. But what will, will he even remember it after so long? Remember that mugshot of Nejima we circulated? I think it was from when he got out on parole. But except for a few wrinkles, he looks just just like he did 20 years ago. Wait, what? Yeah, no idea how he he kept cut up that weight on a prison diet. Wait, did I read that wrong? Except for But except for a few wrinkles, he looked just like he... I'm confused. Yeah, that's why it's like, he looks entirely different. That's a stroke of left, though, isn't it? It means he'll be easy to spot. See, there's something bothering me about that. Oh, wait, did they... Did they... They didn't see him. But they would probably have a picture of who he was pretending to be. So I don't know. We've got every officer in the area looking for him, but no one's seen a damn thing. So I wonder if they're looking for his previous self, and maybe he lost weight after he got out of prison. Maybe that's what, what what's happening here, and that's why they can't find him. 
Which makes me wonder, what if we're looking for the wrong fate? Okay, yeah, yeah. You mean he slimmed down? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's only been half a year since he made parole. Could he really have lost that much weight in just six months? Well, he must look different enough that no one recognized him when he started working at Komagata High. Good point. Well, that means the photo we've got is useless. Well, I know we didn't see what it looked or what we looked around before, but maybe we should check again. Don't bother. It's only been a few minutes. Take a second to sit and think. Aye, aye, boss. Break time it is. <clears throat> uh, hey, boss. Mm -hmm. I think I hear something, some, something coming, coming from those bushes over there. You sure it ain't the wind? Hello, is anyone there? Oh, shit. Well, I'll be fucking damned. Hey, you. Let me ask you something. Yeah, they don't know him. Oh, yeah. And it's funny, too, because I gave him a different voice on the phone. <laughs> uh, and how can I help you two fine gents? Huh? Do I know you? It's where I've seen you somewhere before. I like how they're just talking about how you can look different. He's like, huh. Afraid you ain't gonna charm anyone with that with that tired old line, sir. Not even this old timer. Plain hard to get, huh? My mistake. <laughs> anyway, what's your business here? Just enjoying a moment to myself. Since I've got the day off, I like it here. It's peaceful. We're looking for someone. Mind if we ask you some questions? I love and I hate this. Sounds like a lucky man, sir. To have a strapping gent like yourself after him. <laughs> Everyone's like hitting on people? This one's business, not pleasure. I've decided my... Dedicated my life to putting this guy behind bars. You could say that again. Boss put in so many hours, even his wife and kid left him. Ariel, shut the fuck up. You set him off. Sorry to hear that, sir. But if you glared at them like that all day, can't say I blame them. <laughs> Does he know that laugh? Oh, shit. Oh, that's it. The guy I'm after used to laugh just like that. You sure you haven't seen him? Oh, no, sir. Don't know anyone like that, sir. But with a laugh like that, he must be a... He must be bad to the bone. He's a nasty piece of shit. All right. But maybe he could still do the right thing. You'd like to think so, huh? Ariel, call for backup. Uh, you mean that's him? Well, see you, nerds. Crap, he's running away. Wait. I'll go after him. You get back up. Okay, I'm on it. <laughs> I don't remember what that one was. Thank you. Rage cue to all bureaus. Suspect has been sighted in the former uh, gardens and fleeing towards Come Got a Bridge. There you go. Go the long way around. We'll trap him on the bridge. Got it. The side comes. Yeah. Give it up, Nejima. Yeah, they're just trying to do a side quest in the in the gardens, but then the the main villain shows up. You're surrounded. No way out. Hey, now you're really gonna pull that thing on poor old me? When did the boys in blue get so trigger happy around unarmed civilians? Unarmed my ass. You have two of them. We know what the curse your packet is capable of. But we're all, we also know it can't do shit in daylight. So give it up and come quietly. Can't do shit in daylight, eh? What do you think I am, some third-rate amateur? I'm a goddamn black magician. No way. C could black magic really do that? Like hell it can. He's pulling that shit out of his ass. 
Black magic is from the West, and these curses are Japanese. They don't have anything to do with each other. Besides, if he could use curses while the sun was out, he wouldn't have given us till dusk. Oh, nice of you to take me at my word on it. Now that a wise out of the picture, I'm shit out of options. Good to know. Sounds like it won't take much to, to get you to give up. Careful now. You might just be desperate enough to try something. And the kid over there might just be desperate enough to shoot. Bit of a wild card, huh? I have a feeling we can actually just kill him. <laughs> Maybe we just do it. Folks are starting together. It's no surprise, given the scene we're just causing. Oh, wait. Oh, we don't... Mm. Nejima's packing explosives. You won't need a curse to cause a bloodbath. You just need to get out of here. But they won't listen. Why do Reverend Nurkis always have to have balls of steel? I've got balls. 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 Of steel. I think. I doubt he can pull off what he's threatening. But we can't be too cautious here. If we try to take him down by force, things would get sticky. I'll keep I'll keep him talking. Maybe I can get him to drop his guard. Or even talk him down. I just have to be careful not to provoke him. Best case scenario, we get him in cuffs. Best case... Wait. Next best case, we steal his curse stone. Either way, I need to get some idea of how his curse works. Or I'll be flying blind. Need to hit on him? Mordor. Nejima looks nothing like... Nothing at all like I remember him. Did he really starve himself skinny just for this? See that hellbent on revenge? Damn, his hands are starting to shake. Being face to face with Nejima might be getting him, getting to him. I have every confidence he won't, but God, I hope he doesn't crack under the pressure and fire. Ario, if he makes any further move, shoot the fuck out of him. Leave it to me, boss. I'll get him right between the fucking eyes. Look at his face. Whoa, whoa, easy there, hot shot. I don't know if you're serious, but think about what you're saying here. If I really am unarmed, you'll be all over the news faster than you can say excessive force. My boss will take the fall, so that's fine by me. <laughs> oh, rude. You're shitting me. This guy's a basket case. <laughs> and a damn good officer. Fuck me. You've got spirit, kid. I'll give you that. Just give yourself up and this will all be over. Hey boss, can I shoot already? My arms are getting tired over there, over here. What? Knock yourself out. Whoa, whoa hold up, what the hell is wrong with you? You really gonna shoot a guy just cause your arms are tired? Fuck, you look like you're really gonna do it. You're out of your goddamn minds, both of you. I love this. Hear that, Irio? Let's hold off a little longer. Aye aye, boss. Fuck me, the hell are you teaching that kid? He's a natural. Birds of a feather. Shit on me together. Don't take your eyes off this guy for a second, Ario. Got it. Oh, yeah, that's the same. All right, buddy. If you want to talk, I'll talk. But first, you got to put that fucking thing away. I can't think straight with a gun in my face. Not a chance. If you got something to say, then say it. Your buddy's hands are shaking. If he squeezes the trigger a bit too hard, I'm fucking done for. Makes things more exciting, don't you think? You two have lost your fucking minds. <laughs> about his threat. Masquerade, you told me about on the phone. Did you mean it? Every word. Don't you worry. Soon you'll have a case of a lifetime. Oh, yeah? How are you gonna pull it off? I know, right? <laughs> like, I'm gonna tell you, dumbass. But I'll give you one thing for free. Oh, they, they keep giving things away for free. I never had to wait till sundown. 
I just wanted to make sure you'd really hate me for this. Pretty sure I'd hate you plenty already. That ain't shit. I need more hatred out of you. More, more, more. Needy son of a bitch, ain't you? Oh, I'm not done. Just wait till you see what I've got in store for you. Or, in store for what you really care about. There we go. You should be quaking in your fucking boots. That's not gonna happen. She's got enough to worry about without your sorry ass getting in her hair. Hey, now that's more like it. There's the face I wanted to see. Yeah, yeah, that's the stuff. Blah, 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 my word. But you're about to find out. You're fucking around right now for free. You have the curse done for the one-sided read. Of course I do. Take a look. That's it, all right. Whoops. Better put it somewhere safe. Wouldn't want something to happen to it. Just shoot it out of his hand. Risk shooting his... Well, I guess that'd risk shooting me. How'd you find out about the curse stones? They don't have anything to do with black magic. Yeah, I was thinking about that. If we, like, gave some signal to, like, get out of the way. Someone else turned you on to them. Someone else turned you on, didn't they? That puffed up teacher of ice, you couldn't shut the fuck up about him. He's desperate for a chance to flaunt his smarts and his research. All I had to do was act impressed. Still doesn't explain how you learn so much so fast. Curses and black magic ain't any different. Curses and black magic ain't as different as you seem to think. Clapping cheeks. Get down. I'm clapping my cheeks. As far as I'm concerned, they're just two ways of harnessing paranormal powers. You're sure there isn't more to it? All that matters is whether the power is the real deal. And this curse is very real, as you well know. Joke's on you, Nijima. Don't you know the one side I read is a fake dropped in with the rest? Oh, give it a rest. I've tested it myself. Use that thing on people? Son of a bitch. When something this special falls into your lap, you gotta take it for a spin. I'm just good at covering my tracks. Good enough to not get caught, at least. More door. Let me guess. You're back to your old tricks? Attacking schoolgirls in the middle of the night? Ah, so you know about that, huh? One of the brats put up a fight. About enough time for the other one to get away. So I went ahead and called it quits. Sounds like your curse is a real pain to set off. Nah, I had that sorted way beforehand. But she pulled some kind of spirit bullshit on me. I would have gotten that a little bitch eventually. I just didn't have the time. Way beforehand, huh? Interesting. If you think puzzling out my curse is gonna help, don't bother. Why not? Because you won't be able to do shit about it either way. I'll let you in on a secret for free. I could fuck up a good few hundred people right now if I wanted to. A few hundred? Yeah, now you're getting it. I could kill any one of them at any time. Then I guess we've got ourselves a situation. You're telling me your curse can kill people you can't even see? Seems a bit unfair. If you can really do that, why'd you even bother showing up in person last night? I wanted to make sure the curse worked, and I figured I need to clean up after. Dun, dun. I kind of don't believe that he could. That would be incredibly broken. Got three areas with guns. You've seriously got your curse locked onto several hundred people. That's one hell of a curse stone you're packing. These things sure ain't made equal. And of course you got, a, you got the nasty one of all the shitty luck. Couldn't we... 
Which Kurt Stones do we have on us right now? I think we should we could just kill him secretly right now. We have four of them on us. We couldn't use so we have Fool's Procession, which we couldn't use. We have Evergreen Beach, which he would just have to lie to us. Uh, foot washing mansion. Oh, he just has to hear it. <laughs> Interesting. And then, oh, that's what the last thing was. That's right. Wait, don't we have? Don't we have one more? Oh, we have the. Not the. We have the Everburning Lantern. So we, we could kill him with two of ours right now if we just needed to get him get him done and we'll be like oh no something weird happened I didn't do it I'm all the shitty like eh I'm told I pulled a good one told by who whoops I've said too much <laughs> I knew it someone fed you all this info was it me yeah <laughs> he hasn't really lied yet I don't think maybe little lies Hell yeah. It wasn't not not me. Okay. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Could never be me. Curse. I knew it. Someone fed you all this info. I don't know what you're talking about. You bitch. Magic. What's it been, Dungeon? About 20 years you've been studying black magic. And now you've been, you've, bleh, you're just giving it all up for Eastern curses? I didn't have, er, bleh, didn't have you down for a cheater. Hey now, black magic screwed me over first. You can't blame a man for going with the girl who can meet his needs, sir. Screwed you over how? Because your resurrection ritual didn't work? That was the real point of the murders, wasn't it? Yeah. Must have been rough, putting in all that work for no payoff. Imagine my surprise when I finally found out what you were really after. So now you're trying again with the Rite of Resurrection, making or taking the chance to spit in my eye while you do it. Yeah. Tell me, Nejima. Who is it you want to resurrect so damn bad? Who is it you've spent 20 years chasing? Gah. It's the mother of that baby, isn't it? Gah. You had a partner. And though you never put a ring on her, the two of you had a kid. But then she died. Maybe she got sick, maybe she got into an accident, but either way, she left you and the kid all alone in the world. Tell me I'm wrong, Nejima. It's her you're trying to bring back, isn't it? Gah. Honestly, Tsutsumi's voice is pretty good for this. I've seen for myself just how many folks are pinning... Pinning? Pinning their hopes on this rite of resurrection. And I can tell you this for free. It ain't natural. And it ain't gonna lead it to anywhere good or anything good. If I can read. So... If all you ever needed was someone to help you deal with the pain, then... <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. Huh? <laughs> Is that really what you think? That's fucking hilarious. You don't know a goddamn thing. What? Damn it, for a second there, I thought you were gonna talk him down, boss. Listen up, chump. I'll tell you what really happened 20 years ago. What really happened? You got half of it right. <laughs> I did. I did have a loving girl back once. Sweet as could be. She knows what she went by, though I couldn't tell you if it was her real name. Don't know where she came from either. She traveled, I think. Might have been an angel for all I know. She sure seemed like one to me. Run quick, safely. 
But then she got sick, and just like that, she was gone. My guess is that there, or that it was the pollution, but I never knew for sure. Couldn't afford a decent doctor. My life after that was a living hell. Till I found this grimoire in my old bookstore. In an old bookstore. A grimoire, huh? It told of a resurrection ritual. Black magic that could bring Shino back. So I was right, you fucking liar. No pounding. <laughs> Not exactly. See, we do have Vicey on BTTV. Vicey is here. Who said the ritual didn't work? Thank you. You said it yourself. Black magic screwed you over. Oh shit. I know where this is going. She's the baby. It brought her back as a baby. Which I thought the baby was Mia, which it could be still. It's all fucked up. She's brought back as the baby. Wasn't her baby, it was her. Oh shit. That's valid and good. Oh, it screwed me over all right. But it worked just fine. What's that supposed to mean? See, the ritual doesn't bring back... <laughs> the ritual doesn't bring back the person... Bring the person back as they were when they died. It's more like reincarnation. Rebirth. I'm so smart. <laughs> Rebirth. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. You mean the baby. Damn right. The resurrection ritual brought Shino back to me as a fucking baby. I'm so smart. <laughs> That's one of those things. It like I honestly did not think about that. It's I've seen that in some other media where it's like, well, that's what happens. But like, I didn't think about it until just then, <laughs> which is you know cutting a little close, but still. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You're telling me that wasn't her kid. That was her. In the goddamn flesh? The hell I am! That little brat was not my Shino! Her mind was gone. She was totally helpless. She didn't even know who I was. Her warm arms, gentle voice, gone, gone, gone. There wasn't a damn thing left of her. What the hell did you expect? She was a fucking baby. Yeah. <laughs> If you'd really cared about her, you would have grown some fucking balls and acted like a father. Fuck that bullshit! I snatched sacrifices off the street for her, chopped them into pieces for her, and that's what I get? A screaming little bunch of bundle of shit and piss? That wasn't my Shino. Give me back her softness, give me back her warmth, give me back, give her back to me! I know, right? <laughs> Welcome back. The baby was her, his lover, which is a weird way to put it, but I think in that order it makes sense. So you just left the baby to die? I knew you were scum, but you really are the lowest of the low. Look me in the eye and tell me that if your wife turned into a baby, you'd love her just the same. Man, my wife would have used to ask me if I'd love her if she was a worm. <laughs> How could I do that when I couldn't even be sure it was really her? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Would you if I was a baby worm? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get that you're human garbage who doesn't care about anyone but himself. So now you're, go you're going after the Rite of Resurrection, in the hopes you'll get luckier this time. Luck doesn't come into it, the Rite really works! There's proof! <laughs> I had finally forgotten this? Oh shit. 
Yeah, fair. That's not what probably anyone I'd be with would want. And what happens if you get the same results? If your Shino comes back as a baby again? Gah! Shut up, I don't... Don't you put that lie in my head. It, it'll work the time it has to. Oh. First began believing in miracles when he voluntary, voluntarily enlisted in World War II as a teenager. It was the only POW in his unit to survive. Oh, okay. Mary, which his partner's house was located in Tokyo, been burned to the ground. His entire family wiped out. Wait. In which his oh his parents, not his partners. His entire family wiped in the disaster, starting over from nothing. We're talking about a small general store. Fond of books. Then he found the book. Still single after 30. Uh, Trevor Forney, Black Magic Ritual to summon a partner. <laughs> Soon after, he met a woman he, who called herself Shino, though her real name remains unknown. That's interesting, though. After the hometown of the country, no family. She was haggard on the verge of starvation. Felt a connection with her due, due to the ritual. Decided to take her into his home and let her live there. Living alone for most of the lives, the two of them turned out to be a perfect match. Randy covered and not strong enough to work. No means a skilled businessman. Their lives are from financial investment. Their experience more times. Was drawn poor but happy. Several years later, Shino's condition took severe turn for the worse. The local doctor could offer them no help. Um, black magic to heal her, however. And so she passed away in their home. Final words were, I'm sorry, I must go first. I'll leave the rest to you. Aww. Mm -hmm. Plunged into an intense despair, he drank and ate everything he could to distract himself to cause him to rapidly gain weight. After a while, when he was finally able to walk around town once more, he found himself drawn to an antique bookstore. That's, uh, that's where Grimoire of Ice was. Um, right, required dismemberment and sacrifice of, of a young woman, but this great cost only served to convince that it would be the spell that finally work. Embraced Grimoire, left his and found just two women in town on the verge of collapse. Brought her to a basement warehouse from the ritual sacrifice, however, it had no effect, thinking that no hesitation got in the way, he swift performed the ritual again, but still proved, fr provide, proved fruitless. He repeated this process four times in total. Each time he dismembered the body into small pieces and dumped them in the filthy Sumida River, where they were never found. While cleaning up the river, wait, well, cleaning up after his fourth kill, the disappointed fugitive found noticed a baby. Could it have been Shino? This is interesting. I his backstory. I think in this instance, a fuck you game. <laughs> what if Shino were three babies? <laughs> That photo was, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. I know he's breathing hard, but I'm reading all those as laughing. <laughs> Fuck. Black magic. Too thunk. Doesn't matter, I'm through with black magic. Is that why you gave your grimoire to a Y? I figured he could use it. I put a lot of work into getting him to believe that sort of stuff. But his smile restored. Fine then, keep your mouth shut. But I do know one thing for free. All that about being able to use your curse during the day? It's fucking bullshit. Just a bluff. It's like the like his backstory pretty uncomfy. <laughs> oh, is that what you think? Your back's to the wall and you still haven't you still haven't used your curse. If you really could pull that pull that plug at any time, you'd have done it by now. Yeah. <laughs> now there's a suit I know. 
Fine, I admit it. It's exactly like you said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what if? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's been, yeah. He, he's, he's shaky, but fine. If I could have used my curse, I would have. So I did! <laughs> huh? There should be a few new corpses around the city right about now. You sure? You, you sure you should be pointing guns at me when people are dying across the city? What? When did you... Hey, Ariel! Get someone to check it. Check that out. And don't take your eyes off Nejima. Yeah, so I did! I doubt it, though, still. Aye, aye, boss. Sorry. Aye, aye, boss. Hey. Oh, shit, she's here. She's here. Chaos. And true, yeah. It's it's like people do like <laughs> I'm in I'm in weird brain. I wanna say fall to darkness. Hey, I need someone over here. Yeah, that's right. Get to earning that paycheck. I am glad we went with his voice. If you don't see him see wait. If we don't see to him soon, there'll probably be more on the way. However, will you get, or however will you get out of this mess? That's reading. The longer you keep me here, the more people die. That's blood on your hands. Is that shading or blood in his mouth? I just realized on his teeth. It's really hard to see, probably. Bullshit. You're bluffing. Think what you like. You'll see soon enough. I'm worried taking my eyes off him, but she's here. Shit. Huh? What the? Whoa, back up, back up, back up. What the hell is she doing here? Yeah, I guess it was. Like, I noticed it a lot, but I guess there it looked like it could have been something. Crap, ours just met. This is bad, real bad. What you have to pick now of all times? Uh, get out of here, Jimmy. Plug it before he sees you. Well, I'm going to ask her about the no Namagaki shit. Boss? Uh. Where are you. Where are you doing. What are you doing looking all over the place? Focus! Yeah, Viz, that's like, I, I feel like there's, there's several stories and things that kind of like pull into that of like people who would do that. And then it turns out, yeah, it's like, it's not, it's not even who, who you were trying to bring back. Uh... Mm, yeah, yeah. Ha! Yeah, I shouldn't have looked. Good luck, Ian. Damn it. Fuck, he's fast. You me get away. What's her voice? Oh. Ha! Ah. Well, 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 Yami Tono. I've been looking for you for a very long time. Huh? What? D dad Oh, I got it wrong. I thought Mio was his kid? Who would be his person? That's why she's so... Oh, shit. Ayumi, don't you dare! You bastard! Get away from her! Get over here! Yeah. I was curious, what, like I knew this is probably gonna be bad, but I wanted to see what happened. Get off, you're hurting me! 
Ah, uh, 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 stay right where you are or she dies. Hey, get back here. Make me, see you around, dumb fox. <laughs> Whoa. That piece of shit took Oyami hostage and ran off with her. After him, we can't let him get away. <laughs> so the question, is that a split? Or did I just miss some content, basically? Cause I didn't, I maybe could have talked to him more, but maybe they didn't let me do anything. Yeah. <laughs> From HQ to all bureaus. Suspect has evaded capturing a Komagata bridge and remains at large. He is currently on the run with female hostage. I'm sure it's fine. No notes? I am curious though, like legit curious. I gotta say boss, I mean, maybe this is a bad ending. I needed, I needed to know what happens though. We really screwed that one up. Yeah, yeah, we did. It's my fault. All we can do now is hope he doesn't slip the net. We know his identity now, boss. He can't run forever. Did... <laughs> Thank you, SNES. Come on, keep your chin up. I'm sure the hostage will be all right. I hope so. Can't believe. Wait. Wait. No, that was that was Tsutsumi's daughter. Oh fuck! <laughs> they they double twisted me. She was looking at him still. I thought she was looking at. Oh shit, okay. So my, my guess is still that that baby is Mio. That makes sense why he reacted that way. Well. Can't believe that was your, your, <clears throat> can't believe that was your daughter. How crazy is that? Yeah. Get double twisted, son. They've been trying to get a hold of her since this morning. She just shows up here. Who would have thought? What a twist of fate. Yeah, a bit too twisted of a twist for my twisted liking. I think you need a breather, boss. You're not making sense. Does that mean she was the one in the car with Namagaki? No, we don't know that yet. Let's see what she has to say before we uh, jump to any conclusions. You sound tired, boss. That standoff must have really done a number on you. What a twist. Gah. Come on, let's treat ourselves to some Mitsumame? That'll put a spring in your step. Look at his face. Boss is happy. <laughs> yeah. That sounds good. Some sugar might be just what I need to get my brain working. Well, hold on, boss. Sounds like Patrol's just gotten a message. I'll go check it out. Sure thing. Please be good news. Please be good news. <laughs> good news, boss. They found Nejima. No shit. What about the hostage? I don't know, they just said, come quick. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's not a good camera. Oh, fuck. Did she have the taiko drum the whole time? Damn it. Guess we'll find out when we get there. That's happened today a few times. That's true, yeah. At 4.28 p.m., Fukushima Nejima, Fumi Chika Nejima, also known as Makoto Ashimiya, was discovered in the former Yasuda Gardens, beaten to death. Body suffered 110 distinct instances of blunt force trauma. The case is being treated as a homicide. 
what was a talisman, not a, a curse stone, but there's probably something related to that. Maybe the, the talisman might be why maybe she could use it in the daytime because of that. I might fall through. Disease possessions have not been recovered and appear to have been taken post-mortem. Yeah, exactly, 110. Location of the deceased... Wait. The deceased... Oh, the deceased's female hostage remains unclear. Police continue to pursue her as a person of interest. Yeah, 110.0. So we're cut off. So, quick question. There was no branching path. That's just what happens there. He didn't beat himself. To, that's, yeah, exactly 110 times. Have I learned something? Is that when we go back to Soap Town? Or we know where to go for them? Sure. I am very, very curious, though. One soap, one destiny. No, no, this is a... So, wait. So, like, I guess my question is, by looking at her, did, did a different outcome happen? Because usually we come back and we see the split. But I don't see it right now. I kind of want, like, if there is a split, I want to go back real quick, and then we'll probably end. Um, but we have <laughs> four in progress ones right now. But yeah, this is this is a real a real question. Did it branch where I looked at Ayamo? Ayamo? Ayan? When I looked at Mickey Mouse. Oh, it just ends. No, I'm asking for real. So, like, it just ended if I didn't look at her? Because right now, we get to continue from here later. I'm really curious here. It's like that does do an end. This is, this is a real question. If I did not look at her... Was there a different outcome? Where does this put me though? I think we saved when we got back there. Okay, so that's right here. I'm just gonna do it anyway. Let's see what we have here. Alrighty then. Huh? I'll slit your throat, you little shit! Uh, what? Who uh, would stay back or I'll shoot? Wait, stop. Don't actually shoot, you idiot. See you around, dumb fucks! Shit, he jumped. <laughs> Damn it, after him. Don't let him get away. Nice. He says dumb fucks again. HQ all bureaus. Is he still found? Or is this, this might be the ending. He did a sweet dodge. Suspect evaded officers are coming out of bridge and fled and currently remains at large. There's some sad music, so. The time in which he threatened to carry out his attack is approaching. They didn't say confirm if he killed people. I doubt he did, but. In response, we will call in reinforcements and widen the search perimeter beyond the immediate Sumida Rivier area. Yeah, we got dumb fucks both ways. Visit the six. Everything sucks. How do I jerk off? <laughs> Ten. Let's not try try to believe in ourselves too hard today. Boss. I like that we both fucked up in both options. Uh, boss, boss. Boss, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. If only I hadn't lost my nerve and opened fire. Enough. I told you already. It's on me. I should have told you to lower your weapon. 
thinking that chasing him to the river would corner him was also a miscalculation. Sure, it's possible that right now he's sleeping with the fishes at the bottom of the river. But somehow I doubt things would be that easy. Do you think he really could kill hundreds of people? Who knows? Him saying he already used his curse turned out to be a bluff. Okay, cool. I did want to learn that, actually. Hard to believe he could kill hundreds at once, even with a curse stone, but... He should have said that he could he killed a random person. All we can do is pray that he was lying. Should have known as a fucking moron. The condition for Nejima's curse stone. Oh, the one side of Reed was only later discovered. Ooh, we get info though. Kills by dismemberment. Wait. Wait, kills by dismemberment. One whose face, address, name, age, occupation, and location are all known by the curse bear. It's the death note, but you need more information. So, he just need, he needs to know their face, address, name, age, occupation, and where they are. So, yeah, he doesn't have to be there. I, Yeah, do you think he, like, he has to just have to think it all at one time? Or do you think, like, literally... Literally, he has a like he writes it down, and so the sun set that day. I'm glad I went and did this because now we know what that is. Out of 632 students enrolled at Komagata High School, uh, 300. Wait, the three, the 377 who were at home, each had one arm and one leg severed. One by one, in order they appeared in the school register. Holy fucking shit. They bled to death while screaming in agony. Having no known cause, this atrocity terrified the public, what? resulting in widespread panic. Before long, fear, fear and specu speculation plunged society into total chaos, and misinformation about the curses began to spread. A series of unrelated incidents broke out, unleashing pandemonium beyond all control. This is fucked. While it's uncertain whether Fumichika Nejima intended things to go this far, Tetsuo Susume's daughter, Ayami Tono, was also killed by Nejima's curse shortly after. And Tetsuo Tsutsume, unable to bear the heavy responsibility or the people's blame, quit the police force and fled from public eye. At the very least, Nejima's goal of driving Tetsuo Tsutsume to ruin could not only could not have been more thoroughly achieved. Thus, with his rapturous satisfaction, the curtain closes on. Ending two, Nejima's reminiscence. Holy shit. I'm glad I did that. <laughs> exact Google coordinates. This is what I would refer to as a bad ending. Yeah, I think this is the worst ending so far. We got some people we cared about killed earlier, but uh, this is a lot of people killed. Same. So how many... We have, we've gotten two endings so far, I think? Yeah, no, I... Like, I, th I think that might have been worth it. Maybe that's a piece of information that we can use later. When Nejima went on to use his enormous horde of soul dregs for remains unclear. But according to later reports, Nejima devoted himself to his master, a woman called... Lady Ashino? That's a different name. I'm assuming it's... It's the person we think. Yeah, okay. We it didn't I guess it only shows us a branch if it's a if it's an ending. So wait, did I get three endings? That was an ending. Yeah, we got three endings, I guess. I wanna say there's five, but I have no idea. That's just a guess. I guess this is kind of an ending too. Yeah, I guess it's maybe per branch there's a bad ending somewhere. I'm really curious about that if I kind of want to go look for them. But yeah, part of me is also curious because I, I meant to talk to him more. But maybe I just ran out of 
content, but yeah. I, I didn't mean to talk to him. Um, does this show up here now? Oh, it didn't, it didn't update. So I just have to remember this, I guess. That's interesting. That one's fucked. True. That's very true. <laughs> Fuck this game. Okay, that was... That was a lot. I'm glad I did it, though, because... Now, now we know how it works and how literally it's like the Death Note, but in his brain or something. Um. Uh, so, yeah, I guess... I don't know when we'll get back to this, but we have... We have three continuations. I don't think I can do anything here now. I can take a guess. Maybe we learned where we can go. Or I can go back here. Because they were looking at... Someone is... Are they looking... They were looking for soap. Maybe there's some combo there. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I brought that up last last night. Because, yeah. We start over here. And then when you slide over the, the rate that it goes. It's really cool. Nighttime over here. So we want to... We want to make sure things are done. Uh, before we head over here. Yeah, I'm curious if you guys know... Like, this. there's definitely more here. Um, it feels like around here is going to begin. So we have two, two we can't do yet. Hi, bud. Um, but yeah, I don't know when we're going to get back to this. So I'm going to save again. Because I'm me. I says... Because, yeah, well, maybe I'll give you guys some options over the weekend. We'll figure it out together when we finish this. Are you good? I, I'm just asking how much longer you think. Because I, I feel like it keeps being like, well, maybe between two and four hours. So we did like two more hours. So maybe two hours or maybe more four more hours. Um, there's a specific reason why he remembered that many students, there are that many students that I think was mentioned. I do, like, all I can think of is that he worked at the school and he, like, every time he, like, talked to people, he would say their name and stuff. So, like, that was part of his plan, I guess, to help him remember everyone. That one's kind of... Wait. It's been a fun... Wait, what do you mean? A lot closer? <laughs> That's not helpful, but fair. 